We are here tonight in this building, particularly because we have an incredible memory in this building from almost a year ago. And you can never recreate music or the magic that happens of one night or the other, but over the years we've had some incredible times with you, Toronto, and we're looking forward to tonight. Our music is very communal, and the thing that excites me is that it's a two-way dialogue. You know, um, take for example our live shows. You know, that's where we live and breathe every day, and to be throwing the music out there and have somebody singing it back louder than the band is, is an amazing uh, moment. You know, there's a lot of exciting uh, interaction that happens in the show, and then also, you know, we'll stand outside on the curb late into the night talking to people that come to the shows and, and just hearing their response to the music is, is really exciting to hear the personal stories and the connections with you know a song that's very personal to us that ends up being universal to somebody halfway around the world. This is a song I've been writing all my life. It's a song about grace. Your love is a song. Yeah. 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 There's, there's no rhetorical questions in in this band, uh, uh, the music's very honest, you know. There's nothing up our sleeves. We're very open about the idea that, you know, uh, we've learned a few things, but there's certainly a lot more things that we don't understand, a lot that we've yet to figure out, and music's a great vehicle for exploring that. I hear you breathing in Another day begins I think we've been very guilty um, in the uh, Western church of suppressing questions and, and putting things down and, and you know uh, being against like I, I think a lot of people look at someone who, who believes in Christ and says oh well what's the definition of that well I know they you know they're judgmental they don't believe in homosexuality they don't want you to have sex before marriage and you probably shouldn't smoke something like that right and um, yeah it's all framed in the negative and I think if you truly believe that there is a God who created the universe, then um, why would you be afraid to ask big questions? You know, why would you be afraid to love anyone? I think it opens the door to be able to um, be the most accepting people, the most loving, the most genuine, and, and ask the biggest questions because there's nothing to be afraid of. I think he's a great example of someone who had a lot of questions and um, you know for him he would adopt these characters that would kind of be the vehicle to, to discuss the question at hand and for us the song becomes that vehicle that you can in a verse and a chorus talk about all these taboo subjects sex, God and politics I mean somehow rock and roll makes it okay and you're allowed to talk about these things. And, and we take full advantage of that. Of me. I want to get back the rest of me. I made a mess of me. I want to spend the rest of me. I want to get back the rest of me. I want to spend the rest of me. I want to get back the rest of me. I want to spend the rest of me. I want to spend the rest of me. I want to spend the rest of me.